The only thing better than a good before and after remodel is a before and after where someone's honest with you about what is the actual cost of doing the remodel. When I say actual cost, I mean, what does it cost someone that's doing this that doesn't maybe do it for a living and doesn't have bulk pricing that they've already negotiated? So what better opportunity than to show you what it costs for a kitchen remodel than to share with you our actual numbers. So right now we're at our newest investment property in South Scottsdale, the subdivision of Village Grove. This kitchen, if you remember right, needed to be completely redone. We did everything in here from the cabinets to the counters to every single fixture that's here to even changing the layout as far as where is the soffit, how high do the cabinets go. And I thought you might enjoy hearing a little bit about what it costs. So the kitchen that you're looking at here, these cabinets, they're just white shakers. We did double sided on the island for extra storage. And we made sure on the cabinets on the back to extend it all the way to the ceiling for extra storage. Cost us $6,900. For the quartz countertops we put on the top of both the island and you see the countertops behind me, those cost roughly $3,000. We did decide to do a full appliance package here. So that includes a new fridge and we made sure that it does have ice and water, a new dishwasher that you can't see that's behind the counter here, new stove and new microwave. That whole package was approximately $3,000. For the backsplash, you see, we decided to splurge just a little bit. You'll see we did something that had a little bit of the gold accent, a little more detail work to help make the kitchen pop with all the white. With both the labor and the backsplash, that was roughly an additional $1,000. Now to do this, not only did we need the people that came to install these things, we also had to hire an electrician because we have new lighting that we ran here above the island to give it a little bit of a pop, as well as we had to move a little bit of the electric behind me when we raised up the ceiling, removing that soffit so we could have the higher cabinets. Our electrician ended up costing approximately $1,500. And then the other big expense that we had with this was to hire a plumber. We wanted to make sure that the sink, the garbage disposal, Everything was hooked up to code and was gonna operate correctly. That was roughly $900. Now on top of these main expenses, like I mentioned, there's a lot of little expenses that come. Everything from new light fixtures to regular fixtures to you actually have to buy all these poles separately when you get your cabinets. Once all these expenses were done, we ended up spending just over $18,000 on this kitchen remodel. And I can tell you, it's been worth every cent. Due to just this remodel, as well as what you're going to see the other remodels are we've done throughout the house, we've been able to bring the rental rate of this South Scott sale home from $2,200 a month to $3,800 a month. I'd say that's a pretty good return on our investment. If you'd like any more information about either this remodel or just the Scottsdale market as a whole, please reach out. I'd absolutely love to visit with you. I can be reached on my cell phone, 480-387-3990, or just drop me an email or a message. Again, I'm Andrea Lillian Held with the K Grant Group, powered by my home group, Real Estate, out of Scottsdale, Arizona.